Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Pav Music Production, how y'all doing? So today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create producer's voice tag for your beats. And obviously like the right plugins you need to use in Apple Studio to create your voice tag to record it. And then like special effects you can add to it, such as the equalizer to set the levels right. And then also like a panning plugin you can use to just pan it to the side left and right. And it sounds pretty cool and I like it, so it's pretty simple, pretty basic, and I'm going to run you through the whole tutorial. So apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. You now I've got loads of great tutorials coming out. And also check out my Beats page, pathbeats.com. I'm going to be uploading a lot of tracks on there very soon. So you're going to see all my beats and stuff. You know, I've been producing for about 10 years, if you don't know. I am from London. And uh, feel free to contact me on my Instagram, which is pathbeats. Yep, so the links are below if you want to contact me, you know, ask me any questions, uh, give me ideas for the next tutorial. Apart from that, let's go straight into this and let's have a look how I actually made these things. Woo, pretty cool, right? Hey guys, what's up? So, we're going to be looking at making a voice tag for the beats, you know? So what we want to do is we want to like kind of record our voice tag. So I'm going to record it and then we're going to add a few effects to it. Now there's different ways you can do it. I'm going to go and record it straight into, um, well, straight into the system. And I'm going to open up uh, basically um, what you need to do is you need to go on like your inputs. And then select your microphone input so you can actually see it on a screen like me, which is pretty simple. And then what you need to do is on the side here, select um, select Edison. And we're going to record our voice tag in Edison. So I'm going to press record as I talk right now. Okay, so now I'm recording my voice tag. Now on, on top of this, okay, I'm just going to record it as it is. And then we're going to add effect afterwards. So I'm going to say it. This is Pav on the beat. I pav on the beat. And um, let's do another one. Pav on the beat. Right, let's do. Let's use the um, the pop filled shooter. Can't even pronounce it. I say it again. Ready? Let's turn the microphone up a bit. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. Right. So I really like the last one. So I'm going to use that. Okay. I'm going to turn the microphone down a bit. Now, I really, really like the last one, actually. So, I might even use it for some of my beats. Oh, there goes the microphone. Woof. F knows what happened. Just slip down. <laughs> the hole's becoming too loose. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway. Right. I should have been a comedian, not a music producer. I knew it. <laughs> Right guys, so back to this, right, don't get disturbed. Now, we've got our vocals in Edison, so I've just selected some of the stuff and just pressed delete on the keyboard, and this is what I've got, so you can just like click inside and kind of just delete what you don't need. I'll just get rid of this. Um, so, as you can see, this is what I'm left with, these two voice tags. So the first one is here, Pav on a beat. And then the second one, Pav on a beat. It's got a bit more like, you know, like hardness kind of thing. So I might use both of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put this down and basically just cross everything down. Yeah, open up the playlist and then going back into Edison, I'm going to drag this out. So I'm going to take the sample, the first one, drag it out onto the playlist. Okay. And then we can go into the second one and I hate this minimization and optimization. pain in the butt but we get there so second one right there we go now, it doesn't have to be perfect we can then close down the Edison and just go into our playlist or you can just put it into you know just drop and drop it in here and then you can just click on it and put it onto the playlist. Now we've got the two 
main tags now we can listen to them and probably like so it doesn't crazy loop like just select it at the top otherwise it'll just keep looping like mad pav on a beat pav on a beat now they both sound pretty good okay what we're gonna do on the first one is just go into it now you can right click edit in edison again just make sure it starts straight like there's no extra sound put that back in perfect and go to the last one you know so you, you, you probably have one tag not two just give it to that free space at the front so it you can align it up with the beats later on when you put it into your beats and stuff so there's the two pav on a beat pav on a beat now what I'm gonna do is add them both to the same effect channel so just click on it and drag up to channel one click on the second one put in channel one then go into the effect mixer or you can just press F7 on your keyboard that I mean F9 okay uh, we know that Pav we've got this on a beat we know that we've got this right here have on a beat now what we want to do okay have on a beat is Pav add on a beat <laughs> the second one makes me laugh a bit actually it's like mmm Pav on a beat you know what I mean <laughs> <coughs> so you just overcoming like a some strong bronchitis kind of flu or I've had not know what it is but you know what I mean <coughs> anyway what we do is we add effects to this now to make it sound good first effect okay fruity multi band compressor we compress this shizzle menizzle click on vocals push done listen to the um, before and after pav on a beat before have on a beat after okay parametric EU um just set it to vocals pav on a beat pav on a beat then what we do is we go into the parametric EQ and we take the first three down oh really pav why pav on a not too much on the third one though pav on a beat pav on you can a just take the first two pav on a beat see that makes it sounds really cool have on a beat and then what you can do is um, there's a plugin like the link is below to our website producers buzz and there's a download link on the page guys okay I'm gonna show you um, right producers buzz and click on VST plugins not VST, what was it? Mm -hmm. it? Was info and tips? Let me search it. M O T. There we go. So you've got the um, M O T O pitch. Just click on the download link, and then it takes you to the website where you can download it. Uh, the link is below and this plugin is free it's called M Autopan sorry about that so it took time to load but the M Autopan pans it to the left and right really nice and it gives us that like this is what it sounds without the pan and then obviously I'll show you what it sounds with the pan and you can get it for free you can also use it on hi-hats if you look on our website here we've actually there's a tutorial on that link that's below of us using it on hi-hats really cool cool plugin and like I think using it on the actual vocal tag for your beats makes it sound cool listen to this Pav on a beat Pav on a beat pretty cool like you know you don't even need to change it you can just leave Pav it on a bit it's got different presets the one that's loaded is the leaper good like you can roll well, the leaper godspeed let's listen to this have on a beat path on a beat not much but the first one i like have on a beat where's the first one path on a did i turn it off Pav. you know what i'm just gonna because obviously I changed the settings on it I like the first one that just opens up and I don't know by off by heart which one it is so I'm just going to reload it Pav on a beat 
Pav on the beat. Pav. Funny that. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. It's not panning as much now, so let's fix Pav it. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. All right, Pav yeah. Pav on a beat. So you've got the Pav settings. Pav on a beat. See the settings here? Pav on a beat. So you can change it from like one to eight. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. Sorry, it was panning. It's just my silly ears. I have got a proof. I've got a bad ear. See that? Got cotton wool in my ear. I've got cotton wool in my ear, guys. I am taking like this. Freak knows what it is. Something from my ear. Like, you know, so. Yeah, I can't really hear that pan really well, but it is panning. And check this out, it sounds really good. Pav on a beat. You know, you can play around with it. There's different kind of like. The switching one is pretty cool, it's what we've got right now. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. You can make it a bit smoother. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. That sounds pretty cool. You know, you can kind of just take the pan down a bit so it doesn't sound too harsh. Pav on a beat. Pav on a beat. You know, so you can like take it to about. Pav on a beat. 70%. Pav on a beat. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Well, you can do, you know, you don't really, if you want, you can. Add, rever add some reverb to it, not too much. Pav on a beat, pav on a beat. Just maybe a little bit of wetness. Make it wet, lads. <laughs> Make it a little bit wet, lads. Just, you know, and it goes. There we go. Make it a little bit wet. Pav on a beat. And there we go. Perfect kind of way to make a voice track in FL Studio. If I taught you something here today, guys, really simple. This is how everyone kind of does their voice tags. You know, I'm going to save these. Obviously, if you want to save them, double click on it and you can just like, um, well, click on this. Was it this one? No sample, remove sample, low sample. Um, there was a way to save it really quickly from here. Oh, they removed the button. Okay, well, the other best way to basically save it, go on here, go on export, save it as a WAV file, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'm just going to call this path tag one And I'm just going to save it as, obviously, as a WAV file, because it's a high-quality 24-bit WAV file. Save, and just make sure you don't have any split mixes selected. Leave it at 24 bit, 256 point for the sync to get the best quality. Click start. Done. Um, obviously, make sure you've got this unselected when you do it. And then you can do it to like the other sample as well. So, right now we've done the uh, first one. So, we can just click on the second sample and do the second one. File, export, web file, desktop, path tag 2. Oh. Two and make sure all the same settings start done. Then, when you minimize it and click on your look on your desktop, you'll have two files as you can see. I've got two here, and if I select Pav it on a beat, got the first one, second Pav one on a beat. Now, just one word of advice unselect this red thing at the top when you do it. Because the file will be like, the export will be, um, if I leave it like that, then the the voice tag will be long as the red selection. So for this example, this would be Pat. four seconds. So just make sure you deselect it. And uh, if you ever want to just drag and drop these voice tags back into FL Studio, you can just click on it, open FL Studio and drag it and drop it in. There you go, you got your voice tag. Obviously, you'll just have to trim the end as I extruded it out. Well, as I um, exported it out with the um, red selection. But there you go, you can just drag and drop. And obviously, if you guys don't know how to go to your desktop and back to FL Studio and stuff, if you hold Alt and Shift, you can kind of just shift between different windows like this Alt and Shift. All right. So, there we go guys, this is probably the easiest tutorial I've done, if you've got any questions let me know, drop them below, um, yeah, apart from that, peace out, you know how we do it.